Uh, there's only two parts that you'll be looking to complete. The first part is pretty familiar. You have your, your topic, you <clears throat> then put your, your key learning outcomes, what are the big ideas that students need to have, and then immediately take those outcomes and break them out in terms of what are those skills and facts you're actually going to be teaching in that lesson. And then lastly, what's the assessment for that lesson? How are you going to know that the students have gotten those skills and facts that you have listed that you want them to build understanding or mastery of? Then the next section in this is based upon that information, keep the end in mind, which is something that you are very consistent in doing, is then what are the opportunities? What are those life experiences, those personal life experiences that students have outside of, of school that could be used to connect uh, understanding of the concepts to the world that they're familiar with or that they know about. So they may not, you know, say have experience, but they might be familiar with th those ideas or they might be, you know, applications such as if they like to hunt, if they like to play games, if they um, like to ski or if they work, you know, we can tie in those type of life experiences. And then, of course, there's also the challenges. When you look at the curriculum and you look at what students know and don't know, what are some obstacles around the curriculum that you think that some students or many students might struggle with? Because this is going to be key for identifying readiness. How are you going to meet the needs of students and differentiate based on readiness? And of course, the last one is optional. And this is what are the things that you bring to the table that's unique, that is above and beyond your uh, training as a teacher? You know, maybe you have life experiences that you can tie in to teaching that content. Or maybe you know someone or experts that could, could be the one to share their perspective, help build context to the concepts, to things that are familiar or concrete for students to understand. And once you finish that first section, then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be working on this second section. And this is kind of based on what we just did in the first section content. And now we're creating the processes for our lesson. So again, copy and paste the key skills and facts. This is for that lesson. It's not the outcomes. It's the key skills and facts that you broke out of your outcomes. And then what are your lesson steps? Just literally, what are the steps in order and what, how are you going to teach the lesson? And we're going to use this. You don't have to explain everything. Just don't you know, give like short titles. You're doing this, you're doing this, you're doing this. Like, for example, you're stating your outcomes and then you're, you're doing a lecture on the content or maybe you're doing a, a breakout small groups uh, around exploring a concept or practicing a skill. What are those steps are? List those because we're going to pull from this list to, to do these two parts. So this first section is what you're gonna do is that you're going to pull from this list and put what is that lesson step? And then you know, you're gonna identify what type of readiness are you going to be using for that step? Are you gonna be tiering? Are you gonna be leveling? Are you gonna be doing individualized um, instruction or activities with the students? What is that? So it's just those two statements because it's in the yellow space here that you're going to explain how you are differentiating this. So if we say, I'm gonna tier, okay, how are you gonna tier at this point? Now explain that here. Think about the challenges and opportunities. These are bookmark links that take you back to that section. So you can go ahead and take a, take another review of that. And then you know go ahead and incorporate that, those challenges and opportunities, how you can use that to help build connections in that lesson as you address different skill levels of your students. And then interest, same thing. We're going to pull from the list of your lesson steps. Which one lesson step are you focusing on? And then after you list that, then now you're going to do this second part here, where you're going to decide, am I going to, uh, how, how can I revise based upon voice and choices for students? And what are some real world applications that I could connect kids to apply the skills or explore the skills and concepts in a way that allows them to do it and see how it is relevant and purposeful in the world beyond school. So that's what you explain here. Once you've done that, you're done.